Nature is the best place to find beauty inspiration because it's natural, pure, and simple. For this new year, I'm gonna get back in touch with my basics, and this is a great tutorial for all teens watching who are new to beauty. Welcome. The first step to restarting your beauty routine is taking care of your skin. If you want your skin to look good, it has to feel good. Hydration is key, and Josie Moran's Argent Oil is currently my must-have for supple, smooth skin. Argent oil provides incredible moisture retention because the oil contains 80% unsaturated fatty acid and is more stable in sunlight than any other antioxidants. So it's perfect to wear during the daytime. It has natural healing benefits for scars and can reduce skin inflammation. Because it has high levels of vitamin E, it's an effective anti-aging oil. Next up, skip foundation and try either a tinted moisturizer or BB cream. Contrary to popular belief, BB cream was invented back in the 1950s by a German dermatologist. It was made for patients who had recently undergone surgery. The purpose of BB cream was to protect the skin all while providing a light coverage for the wearer. Today, BB cream is also known as blemish balm or beauty balm and is an all-in-one face product that contains added benefits like sunscreen, serum, moisturizer, primer, and foundation. Think of it as your one-stop shop for the face. If you're not a fan of foundation or if you're not allowed to wear foundation, try BB cream instead. Let your parents know that it's a sunscreen and skincare product that's lightly tinted. After BB cream, powder the face as usual or mattify the face by using oil blotting sheets. When it comes to makeup, I recommend all teenagers to redefine the brows. Try not to overpluck your brows, the fuller the better, but try to reshape them nicely. When it comes to the brows, it's all about finding the right shape for your look. And if I get a lot of thumbs up, I'll create a video on how to reshape your brows for different looks. For my everyday eyeliner look, I like to keep it really simple. I'm going to load up my Soho angled brush with my black eyeliner and of course, line my eyes. The trick to keeping it as natural as possible is to stay within the lash line area. Gently feather the liner out so it fades away softly. And let's move on to curling the lashes. Here what I'm doing is conditioning my lashes using the Argan Oil. For all you mascara lovers, you know how brittle your lashes can feel. Just like the hair on your head, it's kind of nice to give your lashes some deep conditioning love. If you're consistently conditioning your lashes every day, you'll notice that they'll grow longer and feel stronger. After conditioning your lashes, apply mascara as usual to make your eyes pop. I'm gonna keep my makeup really simple by just adding highlighter on my eyes and face. Using my blush paper here by My Couture, I'm just gonna fold it up so I can easily use it on my eyes. Dab it on like so and blend out with your fingers. You can add highlighter along the inner corners of your eyes to give them a radiant look. And just finish it all off on your cheekbones to give your skin that luminous glow. I admit, I am the worst when it comes to moisturizing my body, but this year, I'm going to make it a habit to moisturize every day. Using here my Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter, I am going to moisturize all the dry areas on my skin like elbows, knees, feet, hands, and pretty much the rest of my body because it's really dry. Let's try our best to avoid chalkboard arms and legs and moisturize every night. And my sister here, Christine, is going to show you how she did her braid. She told me that she learned how to braid hair from soccer practice by learning how to braid her team members' hair. So I guess everyone was sitting in a circle and braiding each other's hair. Doesn't matter what the future brings, I'm gonna live a crazy dream. To avoid flyaways and hair sticking all over the place, tame them down by hairspraying them down. Using my big sexy hair hairspray, I'm going to set our hair in place and pat down the flyaways. And for the nails, I'm going to use here my Nail Teeny Polish provided by Ipsy's January Glam Bag. And with a toothpick or a needle, coat your nail with the polish and make sure it's really nice and wet. And while it's still wet, add a few dabs of green and layer them on top of each other. Quickly add a few dabs of red and do this as fast as possible. We need the polishes to be wet because the next step requires you to take the toothpick or needle 
and marbleize the colors together like this. You're basically going to streak the colors together. With your dotting tool, make cute little white dots. Repeat the same steps to all your nails and that's pretty much it. Simple as that, we're finished. Special thanks to my sister Christine for joining me on this tutorial. We hope you guys enjoyed it and we hope you can find your own adventure in your backyard and beyond. So just don't do anything too crazy. And don't forget, of course, to say hello to Mother Nature. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Music by Mindy Gledhill.